we were given an implicit equation set equal to zero with variables x, y, and z. We're asked to use partial derivatives to calculate the partial derivative of z with respect to x and the partial derivative of z with respect to y at the point two comma negative three comma six. Because the implicit equation is in the form of big F of x comma y comma z equals zero, we can determine the partial of z with respect to x by determining the opposite of the partial of big F with respect to x divided by the partial of big F with respect to z, and we can also determine the partial of z with respect to y by determining the opposite of the partial of big F with respect to y divided by the partial of big F with respect to z. To set this up, we will let big F of x comma y comma z equal three x cubed minus two y cubed plus four z cubed plus five x y z minus 762 equals zero. And now let's work on determining the partial of z with respect to x. Again, this is equal to the opposite of the partial of big F with respect to x divided by the partial of big F with respect to z. To find the partial of big F with respect to x, we differentiate big F with respect to x treating both y and z as constants. The derivative of three x cubed with respect to x is nine x squared, minus the derivative of two y cubed with respect to x is zero, plus the derivative of four z cubed with respect to x is also zero. And then we have plus the derivative of five x y z with respect to x, which gives us plus five y z, minus the derivative of 762 with respect to x, which is zero. And now to find the denominator, we differentiate with respect to z, treating both x and y as constants. The derivative of three x cubed with respect to z is zero, minus the derivative of two y cubed with respect to z, which is also zero, plus the derivative of four z cubed with respect to z, which is 12 z squared. And then plus the derivative of five x y z with respect to z, which is five x y and then minus the derivative of 762 with respect to z, which is zero. And now we can evaluate the partial derivative at the point two comma negative three comma six. We have the opposite of the fraction where the numerator is nine times the square of two plus five times negative three times six in the denominator, we have 12 times the square of six plus five times two times negative three. This comes out to negative and then negative 54 over 402, which simplifies to nine sixty-sevenths. And now we need to find the partial of z with respect to y, which is equal to the opposite of the partial of big F with respect to Y divided by the partial of big F with respect to Z. Well, we have the partial of big F with respect to Z from above. We know that's 12 Z squared plus five X Y. We just need to find the partial of big F with respect to Y by differentiating big F with respect to Y treating X and Z as constants. The derivative of three x squared with respect to y is zero, minus the derivative of two y cubed with respect to y, which gives us negative six y squared, plus the derivative of four z cubed with respect to y, which is zero, plus the derivative of five x y z with respect to y, which is five x z, minus the derivative of 762 with respect to y, which is zero. And now we need to evaluate this partial derivative, again at the point two comma negative three comma six. We have the opposite of the fraction where the numerator is negative six times the square of negative three plus five times two times six. And the denominator is the same as the denominator above, which is 12 times the square of six plus five times two times negative three. Simplifying, this comes out to the opposite of positive six over 402, which equals negative one sixty-seventh.
I hope you found this helpful.